what is up everybody it's your boy aaron and today we have a new video now it's saturday so we have another one of these to go over now this is the ninth one um we're getting close to the climax of the arlong park where luffy and arlong start fighting but that's going to be a next book i believe because arlong is like two or three books long like his whole like little arc thing so i'm guessing it's the next book where it ends and then they go say love to um log town anyway so in this one we're going to talk about Nami's backstory, how she happened to get in with Arlong, who Arlong is, who his uh, partners are, what he's doing, and yeah, let's just get into it, you know? What, what are we waiting for? Now, it starts off, Arlong goes to um, Kokoyashi Village because he finds out that the mayor, or I forget his name, the dude with the pinwheel on the head, pinwheel head, we're just going to call him that, pinwheel head, had guns or knives, or I forget what it is, right? So he's like holding him up by his neck or whatever, and... He's about to kill him. And right before he does kill him, Usopp shows up on top of a house and shoots him with a slingshot thing, right? And he says he has, like, 30 million men behind him or 30,000. 80,000. 80,000. I just flipped to the page and said it. Anyway. 80,000 people behind him. Now Arlong's like, I don't care who you have. I'm stronger than all you. You guys are inferior than me. So he picks up the house that <laughs> um, Usopp's on. He literally just picks the house up and he like destroys it and uh Usopp runs away or whatever gets off runs away and then they start chasing him down right but so then it, it goes it's, it's like switches over to where Luffy and them are and they're like sailing towards Arlong Park right and this giant cow thing goes from out of the water and it's called Mumu right and Luffy just freaking <laughs> destroys it punches it it flies away goes away it doesn't come back well it does come back but not there comes back but not there so he hits it right and it flies away so that happens they get on to well they they like get thrown not thrown but like slide onto the, the land or whatever and Zoro hears it and Zoro finds them they find Zoro right and then when that happens Usopp gets captured by Arlong they get taken to Arlong Park so they're going to execute him right Nami shows up, says, let me do it, blah, 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 my fault is here, let me get it, let me do it myself. And Arlong's like, okay, because um, one of his henchmen, I forget his name, what's his name, let's see, 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 his name is Kurubi, 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 this dude, this man right here. Anyways, so he, he he thinks that Nami's a traitor and she doesn't really care because she's finding all the he's finding all this stuff and she's like fine I'm gonna prove to you that I, I really work for you guys. So she walks up and she stabs Usopp. But she actually stabs her hand and not Usopp. But it looks she's like stabs him, but she can't really see that. So he falls into the thing, right? And at that time Yokosu and Johnny see her do it. And they run back to where Luffy Zoro and all them are. She runs back to where uh, Zoro and Luffy and all them are, and it's like, big, big bro, Zoro, and all this stuff. And they're like, big sis Nami just killed Usopp or whatever. We just saw her kill Usopp because, you know, they, they can't see that she stabbed herself. They can only see that she stabbed Usopp. So Usopp falls into the water. They say that. They say that. And then they start arguing, right? And Zoro says something, and and um. Sandy tries to kick Zoro and is like, you need to watch yourself or whatever. And Luffy's like, stop it. Nami would never do that. But he like screams at you. He's like, oh my God, stop it. Nami would never do that. And after that happens, right, a Navy ship comes up, right? And the Navy dude that's on there is like, you guys need to stop. We're a, we're a really good lethal fighting force or whatever. And the fishermen just go up and trash them, kill them, destroy them. And now sitting on the side of the beach where the Navy ships are coming is... Nojiku and this little boy, right? And this little boy's like, the Navy's here to save us or whatever. And Nojiku's like, hmm, you mean those Navy people? And he's like, yeah, they're here to save us or whatever. So they're like, okay, let's watch. And then the fishmen just go and trash them. And they start crying. They're like, we're never going to get out of here, blah, 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 all this stuff. And so Luffy and them all find Nojiko. And Nojiko is like, y'all need to leave or whatever. She doesn't want to talk to you guys or whatever. And Nojiko's like, I'm going to explain to you everything that happened but you guys just need to leave this out and luffy's like i don't care what happened i don't want to know so then she goes and tells everybody right and luffy's just sitting outside sitting there at a tree and 
Um, Nami's inside and she's like breaking everything and then she's just laying down and thing like that and she's like Nojiko like tells her that she met like the straw hat and all them and Nami's like you met them so after that it starts off with Nami's backstory now Nami is like sort of like an orphan her and her sister are like orphans and they have a foster mom named uh Bellamere right Bellamere used to be a marine and Bellamere is on the island now they don't make a lot of money so they eat like a lot of like tangerines or whatever the fruit is or whatever and Nami is a cat burglar, so she steals like everything from the town. She steals uh, books and all this stuff. And the mayor goes and like starts yelling at them or whatever. And so that's the time when Arlong and all the fishmen come up and they say they own this village now. Now Bellamere isn't like that. So Bellamere doesn't care. She doesn't listen, whatever. And they have to pay 500,000 berries per person or 50,000 berries per person or something like that. And they don't have that to pay for each person. So Bellamere when so when Arlong comes to collect the money Bellamere tells them that no 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 Bellamere how does it go so Nojiko only has enough to pay for her and one other person now she chooses to pay for Nami and Nojiko now everybody seen that they were hiding and were like don't just only pay for yourself don't say you have them but she shows that she has them because they're also people too and she wants to show that they are also people that need to take care of themselves so that happens right and she like tackles arlong and sticks a rifle in his mouth and he just bites the rifle and breaks it and then kills Bellamere. kills Bellamere right there in front of everybody and it's like don't don't uh don't um don't like try to like play with me or whatever and now nami goes to arlong right and becomes one of Arlong's helpers. So she gets a tattoo of the Arlong Park thing, like in this little thing right here. She gets a tattoo of the Arlong Park, like um, Jolly Roger thing, because she's gonna be their map, like creator or whatever. So that happens and she makes a deal with Arlong saying that if she can make a hundred million berries, she can buy the town back from them and she can have the town back. But Arlong doesn't like that because some guy that works for the Navy is working with Arlong. And Arlong can't take the money from Nami, but he can have the Marine guy take the money. So that's what the, they do. The Marine guy comes, takes the money from Nami. And Nami runs to Arlong and is like, you're a traitor, you're a liar. And then Arlong like puts his like fist up to her chin or whatever. And it's like, I didn't lie about anything. I didn't do anything. That wasn't me that took the money. And then she runs back to the city, sits on the ground, and starts stabbing her arm, right? Now, at this time, this is like one of the most impactful parts of One Piece, like in the beginning, she starts stabbing her arm, and Luffy grabs it, and she starts crying. She's like, Luffy, help me, or whatever. But before that, she's like swiping dirt and She's like, you need to leave, you need to leave. And she stabs her arm, and he grabs it. And she's like, help me, and he's like, he like puts his hat on her, walks into the middle of like the street, and he's like, I will, or whatever. He says, okay. And then that's when this this is like one of the dopest parts, this part right here. Is when they all start walking to Arlong Park. It's like the coolest thing ever. And now, so when that happens, Yosuku and Johnny already went there to go fight them. They got destroyed. So they're sitting out front of the gate and they have their swords crossed. And every everybody in the city tries to go and fight Arlong because they all know what Nami went through and what happened. They're gonna go give their lives up for them. But Yosuku and Johnny don't let them pass until Luffy and them get there because they're like there's only one there's only a couple people on this island that could actually beat them. And they're coming and you just see them walking and that's where it ends. Now very good thing. I love Arlong Park. I love everything about it. It's one of the best arcs in One Piece. Um very good. This is what East Blue's been leading up to. And yeah it's just everything that you could imagine into one thing and this is where you finally get to meet the fishermen and what they're made of so yeah like comment subscribe let me know what you guys want to see uh every saturday i do one of these volume reviews so if you guys like them let me know i'm going to keep doing them i'm not going to stop because i already nine in there's no point in stopping so yeah this has been aaron peace